Good morning, everybody. I am John Shireman with Ool Truck Sales. We are coming at you live from our international dealership in Louisville, Kentucky. Appreciate you joining us today. And uh, we're excited to talk to you about uh, one of International's new severe service offerings called the HX. HX stands for Heavy Extreme, and uh, this truck is definitely both of those things. So um, we're going to talk to you today about the newly designed cab. It's extremely spacious. It's very comfortable. And uh, we'd like you to, you know, check that out for yourself. We have, is that going to show up right there? We have a demonstration unit. It's not, it's not coming no. up. <laughs> taking, <all right. laughs> You're doing. Trying to show you a picture of the demonstration unit that we have in stock right now. And we would love to show this truck to you. Uh, so you can see for yourself how uh, it really is a heavy extreme offering. So uh, without further ado, I am excited to introduce you to Chad Connolly today. Chad Connolly is the VP of Severe, a VP of Severe Service for International Truck. He's going to take you over some of the new features and benefits. And again, we really appreciate you guys joining us today. And uh, Chad, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you, John. All right. Good morning, everyone. As, uh, as John did mention, my name is Chad Conley. I, I am a vice president of our vocational uh, sales group. And I'm happy to be here and share with you uh, the exciting exciting world of HX as we have now launched this new product. Um, let me get to my slides here. So I do have a grouping of slides I'm going to go through. Um, I believe at the end, is there going to be Q&A at, at the end? Yes. So, to mention that. Yeah. So there will be some Q&A at the end. So I'd ask you if you could hold your uh, questions to the end. That would be, that'd be wonderful. Thank you. So the slide in front of you shows uh, Aaron Huber. Um, hopefully by now you figured out I'm not Aaron Huber. Um, Aaron's a little under the weather this morning, so I am pinch hitting and um, I have any mistakes or any problems. It's because I'm filling in and, and it, we can all blame Aaron for that. Um, next, here we go. So HX, um, as John mentioned, the, um, the HX, uh, we have had our HX out there now since 2016, but uh, we have here recently in January, launch the next generation of HX, and that's what I'm here to share with you today. As you can see here on the screen, we have uh, uh, three models of our HX. We have our HX 520, which is our set forward axle um, model with um, uh, X15 power. We also have the HX 620, which is our set back axle with eight to our international 826 engine, which is our 13 liter offering. And we have the HX620, which again is the setback axle, but that also has the Cummins X15. All right, there you go. Um, as just a little more detail of what I just mentioned, um, the HX520 does have the 120 inch BBC. Um, you can see there it has the set forward axle with the 30 inch BA. And then we also have. Um, offerings around the day cab. We have a, a sleeper offering, a short sleeper with a high rise roof and a long sleeper, which would be our 73 inch sleeper um, high rise. Um, the HX620 is right there at about 119 BBC and has the same sleeper offerings as the 520. But it is, you can see, and I skipped over that, um, the setback axle is a 50 inch BA. Zero. Um, engine offerings, as I mentioned, uh, the Cummins X15, um, we do offer that in the 520 and the 620. And in our 620, we do have our international 826 engine. Um, I'm very happy to, to say that along with the current ratings we have in our um, 826 engine, um, coming here this, uh, this fall will be our 515-1850 rating that we'll be releasing. So that, that provides, that International 826 provides you a lightweight engine, 13 liter power, that will um, also now deliver 515 horsepower and 1850 pound foot of torque. So for vocational customers that are conscious about the weight and still need the power to, to pull or pull out of a quarry, the International 826 is, um, um, is a great option. We did have a question fly in, so I guess I'll take those on the, on the go here. Um, 
We have approved, I see the uh, question come in. We, we do have approved in our product plan to put the A26 engine in our HX520 uh, product. That we're right now, the, the best timing that I, I wanna say is we're looking to have that by the end of the calendar year um, as an offering. We probably will be looking for orders in uh, you know, the, somewhere in the Halloween to Thanksgiving timeframe. Um, but we're excited to say we will be putting the A26 in the 520. Okay. Hey, let's talk about extreme duty cab. So we have, through commonality, uh, leveraged our current um, cab. However, we have made uh, improvements to that cab to meet the, the demands of the HX rotational market. Um, it is a steel design, and it does have um, full galvanized 60G uh, both sides on the steel for galvanization. And we've also moved into a new coat process, which I'll explain a little bit later here, but it's a Kim guard coating that we're gonna put on both uh, on the floor and the tow boards of the cab itself. So we've added not only reinforcements in the B pillar, um, some reinforcements around the hinge area of this cab to strengthen the cab and to ensure that, that it, it meets all the demands but we're also addressing and increasing our corrosion resistance with this, with this cap. Um, here's a little more detail on that is the Kim guard. It, this is a, um, a reactive coating. So we will, through our process, go ahead and, and the, 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 we'll bring in the galvanized steel, as I said before, it's 60 G on um, both sides. So it's 60, 60. But on the sheet, the sheet will be coated with this Kim Guard reaction. And it is actually a self-healing coating. So as we get scratch or dings or nicks, we have proven through validation that the coating itself will, will react with the bare metal and spread and, and try to self-heal itself. This is all in an effort to um, continue to lengthen the life of this product um, to provide you know, a cab that you'll be proud of years and years down the road and to essentially eliminate um, a, any corrosion concerns that you may have. On top of that, um, that is, and let me step back. The Kim Guard is actually before paint. So that is a before paint coating. It goes through our full painting process. But after paint, we're taking it another step further. We will be applying a Linex coating that is standard in the HX. And that Linex coating is, very similar to what you might have in a pickup truck um, liner where they spray that pickup truck. We will actually be spraying the floor and the tow boards of the HX. And that is one more step that we're taking as we see that if there is any issues, scuffs and nicks that happen, a lot of it happens in turn inside the cab from people with boots or anything that corrodes in or tries to corrode inside, we're sealing that off with this line X coating. Um, uh, so let me, uh, so there was a question from a previous slide back, um, around, we are not taking pilot orders yet for the, um, for the 520, uh, with the 826. We'll get that later. I think what I'm going to do is wait till the end and then go through all the questions. Yeah. Cause we're going to get them out of order here. I will touch base on the last one that's on there though. The line X is just on the interior of the cab. So if the cab is painted and goes through our full process, it goes through a robotically applied spray station where it sprays the interior of the um, cab. And, it, and the reason it's interior is if you do all through a validation and everything we did, if there is a case where corrosion may start, we've always seen it from the inside out. Um, and that's really where, where the corrosion starts. So that's what we chose to do here. I think it's also a, a, a great item to know for extra protection. If you did have something that maybe a, the carpet got cut or something, you do have that extra protection. I won't spend a lot of time on this. I think the summary of this slide for me is that our new uh, HX series cab is roomy. Um, there's more belly room. Um, there's a lot more spacious feel when you get in there. We've also cleaned up a lot of things with the stalk shifter that is now standard with this product. And um, we're very pleased with uh, the seats and the interior and the feel of the inside of the cab. So um, as John mentioned here, you know, there's demos out there. We would love to get you into one because we feel confident that, uh, that you, would, uh, you would find the cab to be spacious and very comfortable 
uh, for your drivers. Um, sleeper cab options, as I mentioned before, um, we do offer the 56 inch and the 73 inch sleeper. Um, that is what we advertise it to be. But on the slide here, you see that our short is uh, a 46 inch when you, when you look at how it affects the overall uh, wheelbase of the truck. Um, the 56 is a dimension we take from the back of the seat to the back of the cab, kind of as an industry um, standard dimension. But when you look at how it really affects the overall wheelbase of the truck, it is about a 46 inch um, uh, impact there. So if you are wanting to get into a short sleeper for various options, you know, the, the overall wheelbase impact is not quite the 56 inch um, that we discussed. However, if a driver is in the, in, the, in the sleeper bunk and needs that space, very easily can move the, the uh, let's see, seats forward and have a full 56 inch sleeper. Um, as you see here left on the picture on the left, it is very, uh, the sleeper interior has been updated. Um, it looks very good. Um, as you can see here, I'm very happy with how it turned out. And I think the, that uh, if you get a chance to be in it and be around it, you will agree that uh, it is a very, very nice sleeper. Um, hey, the, uh, the, the interior, we spent a lot of time building, you know, that interior around the driver as, uh, as we are standing with our premium cluster, which offers a variety of virtual gauges um, and ability to, to toggle through different screens to get to what you need. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we also have the column shifter. Um, that is our stock shifter that allows you to control um, putting the truck into drive, it allows you to control um, a manual shift pattern um, right on the stock shifter if you need to. And of course, the compre engine compression brake is also available um, on the stock shifter. So that is, a. Um, I think we've found, we actually leverage this from some of the, the construction equipment out there today. It allows us to free up space between the seats, allows us to free up space on the IP, and we have found that once a driver's in it and they, they get used to it, it they, they, they really find it to be um, uh, an easy um, way to control uh, the truck and get very used to it quickly. So it's been very positive for us. Hey, this is one of the exciting things about um, our new HX, and we will also be porting this over to our HV line of uh, vocational trucks. Um, we have released a whole new lift axle control um, system. Um, I know various states have different regulations around um, air, air pressure control in cab, outside the cab, and we also will have those. But with our new lift axle controls, you can see there in the bottom right of the screen, you will be able to control up to three lift axles. And then we do have a, uh, an option for the fourth if, if you are in a state that needs four but you'll be able to control that right on the IP as an integrated switch pack. So you can go up, down, you can also adjust air pressure. So to, um, to make this what we think even user-friendly and adjustable to different customers, our lift axle controls now will go through our Diamond Logic system. And our Diamond Logic system is part of our overall multiplexed electrical uh, system. And what this will allow you to do is a program uh, your lift axles if you have any special requirements. If you, for whatever reason, you know, one, if the truck goes into neutral, you automatically want the lift axles to come up, or if he puts it in reverse, you know, you want them automatically to come up, or anything that really you can think of around a lift axle control, uh, we have capabilities to do that now because all of the controls go through our Diamond Logic. We also will offer, um, a package that the controls all go to the back of the cab and then we go from the back of the cab to the lift axle. So in, in the case that you um, are running, a, let's say a tri-axle and someday you, you have the wheelbase to add a, a second lift to go to a quad, um, the controls will be right there and you'll be able to do that. Um, hey, our Diamond Elite interior, um, we have uh, really upgraded our Diamond Elite interior and uh, bit with a big focus on seats. You know, our seats now, um, we do believe is best in class comfort. The seats have been designed for drivers of varying sizes. Um, 
some of us like me are not getting any smaller. So we, um, we have definitely put a lot of focus around that and we have a full line of options, you know, heated seats and, and, and et cetera. Uh, the, the seats have a nice um, stitching pattern on them. They look good with some embroidery. And um, most importantly, the, the seats are designed to last. Um, you know, drivers in or out of these trucks every day. The materials we've chosen, the stitching we've chosen, um, the seats have really been designed to last. And uh, we're really proud and, and looking forward to getting more of you into the trucks to see those. So let's talk some key takeaways um, for a summary here. You know, um, the HX, as you can see there in the picture, um, I'm just going to start out with the, the fact that it, you know, just really proud of it. It is a good looking truck. I think whatever logo that you may put on there for your specific business, um, I think the truck looks good proportionally. It looks good. And, you know, it's going to be something you'll be proud of to have your name on as you pull, um, pull into job sites and whatnot. So we're really proud of how that turned out. Um, as you can see in, in this picture also, you know, we've increased some of our visibility with our doors on the side. And then we offer both the C-loop and the pedestal mirrors, um, depending on what, what you prefer there. Um, but the takeaways around the extreme duty cab, you know, we did, like I mentioned, the structure reinforcements, uh, reinforcements the Kim guard and the line X. Um, our cab has been built around um, the driver and specifically with their interior changes, we've built it around the vocational um, driver that's out there every day on job sites, in the mud, um, all the things that you guys uh, experience. So increased cab room, the stalk shifter and our lift axle controls are really the three things we highlight. Diamond Logic, again, um, I'll continue to bring this up whether it is just around lift axles or anything on the truck. So our new HX does have our Diamond Logic system standard and you can um, you can do so many things with the diamond logic system electronically you know um, one example that i always use because um, i think it's still very valid is you know we had a customer some time ago that said hey when i my driver puts a truck in reverse i want the radio to mute yeah i don't want the radio blaring when when he's in reverse so we were able through Diamond Logic to actually add that feature very quickly. It's literally an electronic change. And then we, we kind of built that for that customer. That feature became so popular that now it's standard that the, the truck will do that. But we have everything around Diamond Logic. You know, you can do, um, we talked yesterday here internally that, you know, we have the ways that if the dump bed is up and the, the, the driver, the driver goes over 20 miles per hour, there's ways to make sure the bed comes down. You know, there's a lot of safety and interlocks that we do through Diamond Logic. And we're kind of at the point now where we have a full Diamond Logic team out there selling. And if you can dream it up, the team's found ways to do most things. So um, that is where I would highly encourage you to um, think of things on your specific business or things that you and your company require from a safety, from an operation thing. You know, get with your local, you go get with your dealer, your salesperson. And, and talk to them about the idea and let's see if we can't find a solution uh, together that will help you and, and uh, just increase some of the benefits that you can get from the HX. So I've talked a lot about Diamond Logic and here it, here it goes. So I won't spend a lot of time on this since I was just talking about it. But you know, it is a, um, it, uh, again, it's electrical system through our multiplex um, architecture that provides control and communication between different functions of the, of the vehicle. Um, you know, it, it's definitely streamlines the integration. We've worked with many of the TEMs out there and, and provide specific features for them that allows them to, to uh, increase, or increase, I should say, decrease their upfit time, which increases um, their ability to get you trucks. How does it work? Um, you know, I won't go through all this, but it, it is automating functions of the truck to increase performance. And it's all built around the body controller and everything feeds through the body controller. So the body controller sees everything happening on the truck and it's allowed to say, no, you're not allowed to do this if this is going on, et cetera. So it's a, a feature we've had for a long time in our products and we're very proud to announce we've got it in the HX now. Um, you know, I won't go through this whole chart, but, you know, um, just a few things around safety. 
um, you know, unlock powered door locks with parking brakes, you know, remote start uh, for the driver, various things. Um, on the job site, limit vehicle speed with the body raised. Um, you know, rear camera comes on when using turn signals. You know, you can fire if you have a uh, rear camera and the turn signal is turned on. You can you can turn that on. Just a lot of little different features you can you can do there, and then uh, so varying features for your equipment. You know, we do uh, we do read a lot of things off the hydraulic lines too, and things like that. So it's it's a nice feature to use. Hey, our international 826 engine I mentioned. Um, we do have uh, the new 826 engine coming out here very soon, probably in the September, October timeframe. This is a change for the greenhouse gas for 21 emissions. So our engine um, was doing well enough. We did not have to hit in January to meet all our greenhouse gas regulations. Now we are um, going to be able to do it on our time frame till our validation is done and, and bring this engine out. So. Um, we've got that going. And this is all around greenhouse gas and, and, and the EPA requirements. In a nutshell, greenhouse gas is fuel economy, right? Um, the less fuel you burn, the better you are. Um, what are we doing to the engine? Um, just a few hardware updates. You know, engine control module will be updated mainly because of some software changes. Um, we will go to a clutch water pump. A um, few things changing on EGR valve and cooler intake throttle. So different tweaks that just help us um, increase the efficiency of the engine. And then what are some of the, um, the benefits that we're uh, looking at? Well, one, I already mentioned the 515 or 80 with the 1850 pound foot of torque, enhanced reliability and enhanced fuel economy. So as I said, greenhouse gas is really about fuel economy. So you will see some improvements here. But I want to talk about enhanced reliability. You know, um, we have just continued to simplify this engine, and that's what we're going to do. You know, um, I used to think when when things first came out and and everything was hitting with some of the big emission changes, you know, these engines were turning into, you know, some sort of uh, chemical plant, you know, or, or or a major, I guess, complex engine. We have continued to try to simplify that and the greenhouse gas or the 21 emissions change for greenhouse gas has just furthered our ability to simplify this engine and keep it more efficient. Um, it is a, um, uh, an inline cylinder engine. You can see there a few of the uh, key, key points of the engine. I won't go through all these, uh, but the B10 life is at 1.2 million mile, which um, is a really good number for the vocational since the mileage aren't high. So in vocational, what we've done is on top of the B10 life is we really focus on hours. Um, even some of our, our, our extended warranty packages that we have out there are unlimited hours. And again, that's something you could talk to your, your local dealer and dealer salesperson about is if you want extended warranty and you need years and hours, that's where we focus those warranties. And we've also tested the engine for that. Hey, the last part of this that I have before I'll start answering some questions here is around our connected vehicle technology. You know, our, um, our connected vehicle technology is really a proactive um, analytic tool designed to increase uptime and lower your, your total cost of ownership for your fleet. Um, we have an open architecture system, um, which when, when the vehicle is out there and you have on-command connection, we feed everything to essentially the cloud. You know, so all the information coming off the CAN bus, all the information for the truck that you want to know goes to a cloud. And then we allow you to work with your telematics pr provider to go out to that cloud and grab that information and, and get it down to you. So we have focused very hard on that to make sure that what we're feeding and what you want to see we're not forcing you into a certain telematics provider. You can use what you have today and find ways to link that up. We have a team of people that if you are interested in that, and like I said before, to talk to your local dealer, um, we can get people out to help you with that and, and discuss the things that we can do with On Command. It is a neat system all the way to the point where if you're a fleet director and you have a problem with a truck, you can get stuff hitting your phone saying where we're at. 
um, next here. So I just kind of repeated my, this is a slide just to kind of repeat what I said, but a few of the new intelligent fleet care items we have is health monitoring, preventative maintenance. We're really working down that path to get more and more ability to do prognostic stuff. And that, that's gonna take time, but we're working through that. Um, fuel, TPMS, over the air programming. Um, so if your truck does need an update, we're looking at over the air programming. And then of course the gateway integrations that I mentioned before. A lot of detail and a lot of information around this is available. I'm not gonna take the time today to go through it all. Like I said, please reach out to your um, your salesperson and, and we can get you all the information you need on that. Um, again, this is just a, another slide on some of our fleet health monitoring as you can see the picture there. Um, but pilot fleets have seen up to 40% increases in time between roadside breakdowns. So we are really working on uptime. Uptime has been our uh, mantra here at International for some time. And we need, you know, we know that trucks don't make money if they're sitting and we have to keep them on the road. And that's what this whole piece of this is about, is how to make sure your trucks are on the road running, making you money. Um, I kind of just mentioned this, so I'll, I'll move on through this one. This is the same thing, just a few more details around areas that we can, um, we can address through uh, the fleet monitoring, links to on-command connection, aging issue, um, that kind of highlight those persisting issues so that you can uh, make sure that you're prioritizing repairs and, and go from there. Okay, I went through that um, somewhat quickly. Uh, a lot of slides and a lot of information, so I appreciate you hanging in there with me during this. What we'll do now is we'll go to Q&A. Uh, I'll see if I can answer, and if I can't answer the question, maybe John can. Um, but please um, drop your questions in. Um, whatever it is, uh, feel free to ask. There's no, uh, there's no, no dumb questions, as they say. So the first one we had was, um, in, does the, the okay, this is a good question here. Does the Line X cover the sleeper floor? It does not. It does not cover the sleeper floor, and the reason for that is we do not see the type of um, uh, traffic and moisture buildup, et cetera, in the sleeper that you do in the day cab area. So we have chosen um, not to spray the sleeper cab. What you will see if you pull back the carpet is there is no def uh, definitive lines on Line X as it is a spray application. So they, they will, as the robot blows into the edges of the back, what would have been the day cab, it will, it will have some overspray and coating of the sleeper floor, but it is not a uh, consistent coating for the floor. Yeah, I was just wondering about that, Chad, for uh, the sleeper, the sleeper compartment, and how you know a lot of these guys put antifreeze and coolant and stuff underneath the sleeper berth for storage. Yeah, in the, in the compartment under the sleeper, we do not spray inside of that. No. Um, Let's see, does the SS model lineup also get the N2 device? How about 1226 pins for telematics? Um, yeah, so we will have available here in about um, a month, or excuse me, in August, we will have the N2 device, which is what drives the on-command connection for a vocational uh, product. So for the HX, we have our HV model line, which is our vocational, and then we have our MV, our medium duty line. So the N2 module will be an option for you to uh, order and get the on-command connection. Today, currently, we are standard with our LT on highway tractor with the N2 module um, for on-command connection. Like I said, um, if you want to contact your, your local dealer salesperson, they can they can get you more detail on that. Um, are you looking we are the local at dealer salesperson. I'm sorry? I said we are the local dealer salesperson. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we did. We, we got. Yeah, yeah. So I, I agree, Vince. Um, sorry, sorry. You, so. Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. Um, does the, are you looking at, at adding a fuel filter restriction gauge? We are not at this time. I would have to probably get some details of what you're, you're asking for, um, and we can go from there. 
Is there any more questions? Right there? No. Is there any other questions out there, whether verbally or you want to type into the system that we can answer um, about the HX? Um, we have, we're building them. We've been building them for a while now. Um, we've got a lot of great feedback. I think the product would, is going to do really well. And um, so far, though, everything we've seen it is doing well. So um, happy to field any other questions you might have. All right, I'll turn it back over to John. Thank you. Yeah. So thanks everyone for joining us this morning. Really appreciate uh, you checking this out. Again, we're excited about this and we do have a demonstration unit available at our Louisville location. Um, again, that's Old Tri Vista. We got locations in uh, Louisville, uh, New Albany, Palmyra, and of course my partners at uh, O'Halloran Tri Vista in Iowa will be able to answer any of your questions. And of course, Ohio Tri Vista, Cerny Tri Vista will be as well. We did record this presentation, this virtual event. So if you'd like to share this with your teams or uh, any other customers, it will be available and we'll have that ready for you soon. So yeah, we will send this out to anyone that was on that thread. So again, thank you very much for joining and uh, we'll see you later. Have a great day.